kaleidoscope was found as a stray in Oswego, Illinois. Whether lost or a throwaway, she had had a very rough time indeed by the time she arrived at the WSHS. With fur so matted it was like a plate hanging from her skin, she had to be shaved. She's suffering from multiple infections. Nico. She's got a beautiful face. Nice paws and look at that tail. Aww. Aww. Look at that tail. It will likely be several weeks before she can be put up for adoption. All in all, she is showing what most cats here have in abundance, and that is patience. The shelter isn't home, but anyone who thinks turning a cat out into the wild is kinder than taking it to a shelter need only look at this little girl to understand how wrong that is. Starlight. He is a male, three and a half year old Persian. One, unique. One blue eye, one brown eye, and all white, long hair. He is a deaf <laughs> cat, so probably would need to be approached from the front so he doesn't get spooked. Very friendly and very tiny. Mm -hmm. Full grown. No health restrictions. He came to us from Pets Without Parents. Wouldn't you love to be Starlight's parents? Sparkler is a 10 year old Norwegian forest cat. He's a male. Um, fairly large cat, very, very soft fur, loves to be brushed. He's a quiet guy, would do best in a quiet home. And he came to us because his owner lost her home. <laughs> Um, about a month after the animal is adopted, we send out a callback form to the adopters. Um, we ask them information if they're having any medical problems, any behavior problems, would they like a follow-up call. We ask them if they have any cute stories they want to share. Um, so we could kind of head things off at the pass if they're having any problems. We also have a cat behaviorist and a dog behaviorist. Um, they're volunteers. They have voicemails here. They're always available. If people, if the adopters call and leave a message, they will get a call back within 24 hours. And um, our trainer, Matt, that we work with from Bark Avenue Day Camp, he will also um, be available, especially for any dog that has gone through training there. He is also always available to answer any questions or concerns that they may have. <music> several different veterinarians that we use. We do not have a veterinarian here on staff. So the animals, if there's any question of their health, they are sent to the veterinarian. Before they get adopted, they're spayed or neutered by the veterinarian. They always get a full health check. Um, if there's any concerns, obviously we pay for um, any issues that may come up while they're in our care. We also have um, staff that's trained on animal care. Um, most of the common illnesses we're able to treat right here. We have the medications for upper respiratory infections, kennel cough, um, a lot of the intestinal parasites, we have all that um, right here at the shelter. Heather is two years old. She's a domestic long hair, gray. Beautiful green eyes. 
female. And by the looks of it, very, very friendly. She came to us from Illinois Valley Animal Rescue. Very friendly. Very calm. Jumped out of the cage into my arms. Okay, let's get a look at that tail. Is that better? She's a talker too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.